Helldivers 2 is dead. 90% of the players left Helldivers 2. That kind of news is currently present on the internet and that sounds... very dramatic. But what happened? Is Helldivers 2, one of the most hyped games of all time, already dead after 5 months? Let's find out. If you're a gamer and not live behind the moon, there is no way you haven't heard about Helldivers 2. The internet was full of reviews, articles and news about this new big player. Tons of influencers played that game non-stop. A meme culture, not only from the people who played, but also together with the developers evolved. My Instagram feed for example was full of Helldivers 2 shit. So many people rated this game M, the developers weren't even able to offer enough servers for all those people out there who were trying to play in the first days after release. Every second after throwing airstrikes or activating mini nukes looked like a Michael Bay movie. Everyone was happy about the battle pass system, that is not the fucked up shit we get from some other studios. The memes and support were crazy. I can proudly say I am a Malevolent Creek veteran. I was there when Super Earth needed me the most. But in the end of April, I didn't have the free time to play too much Helldivers 2 and during that time I didn't follow this whole lore story 100%. The weeks and months passed and I couldn't see that much Helldivers 2 news and content anymore. Now 5 months later, I barely see content of big YouTubers, no new memes and lots of articles that 90% of Steam players deserted Super Earth and its fight for freedom. That sounds... Undemocratic. No, for real, that sounds crazy. Only 10% of PC players are still active. I mean, it's clear that a game isn't able to keep every person who bought the game once, but 90% sounds like a huge deal. Some say the hype is over, this game's dead, and when I read the headlines, I started to become a little bit sad because I have some more free time now and I was looking forward to play this game again, especially after this jungle update, which looks awesome. I started to think about this whole topic and what the future for this game could look like and I have to say, the reason why some say that the hype is over and this game is dead, I know why some people feel that way, but let's be honest, this game isn't dead at all. At first these were only the numbers from Steam, we also have the Playstation guys like me who can't be counted that easily and 10% of 400,000 players at peak are still 40 to 45,000 and that only on PC, so still top 50 most played games on Steam. So don't get fooled by the numbers and headlines of newspaper stuff. This game's fine, this game's alive, there is nothing to worry about. I think one of the major problems why we have news like this and only 10% of our divers was at the beginning of Helldivers 2 in February. As I already said, and every one of you surely knows, hundreds of thousands of people bought this game. YouTube nearly drowned because of Helldivers 2 content. There was no way you haven't heard about this game. I am honest with you. I had no idea Helldivers 2 existed until I saw the video of the act man. I mean, I've never seen normal advertisement, only from YouTubers. And after some videos on YouTube, also on Instagram. What a coincidence, am I right guys? I think you already can figure out where this leads us to. If so many people or in this case influencers play a game and talk about how great and fun it is, it's no wonder the majority of viewers also buys this game. I mean that's why it's called influencer. And all these purchases lead to enormous player accounts. That's logical, right? But some people who got influenced find out this isn't the right game for them. Others enjoy it as well and start becoming addicted. The problem of hype games like this is the fact that it's getting so much attention not only from people who want to play this type of game, in this case horde shooters, but also from many others too. That leads to a significant rise and fall of the player count. I mean, some play it because it is hyped now and not because they actually enjoy it. A small example, I'm sure you've heard about Paul World, that open world game which copied Pokemon a little bit. This game also got a massive hype, but after some time only like 3% of the people stayed. I know hype games can be bad, especially when you watched a few videos maybe, heard everyone say how good it is, then you buy it yourself, but you have no fun at all and wasted in the worst case 80 bucks. But in the case of Helldivers 2 it is more like the opposite. Even months after release, people create new memes, the devs continue their role as Super Earth Headquarters, Joel does his evil things, god damn, some even raised the Super Earth flag in real life. This whole culture around this simple horde shooter is the key hundreds of thousands of people kept playing, even when they've seen and unlocked everything. They're doing their part to protect our freedom. The community of and around Helldivers 2 is one of the best things I've ever seen. Of course there are some traders who team kill on purpose or others who kick innocent divers out of the game because they are maybe not as good as the rest. But overall this is one of if not the best community around one video game. 
and even the developers have their fun too. This is the first time I actually feel that the modern gaming industry starts to change. At least for some games. If you have a great idea for a new stratagem for example, you can tweet about it and the devs or even the CEO takes the time to reply on your idea. I mean, how many times do we have ideas of new stuff or changes to make a game feel better but can't get any attention from the devs? I feel like Arrowhead is one of the first video game companies nowadays who understand to respect and actually think about ideas and feedback of the community. Because these are the guys who pay their salaries in the end. And because these devs understand, they get rewarded with endless support and love. Arrowhead always was there to improve different things, nerf or buff weapons, stratagems or enemies and of course to release new content, since it's a live service game. But they didn't just add a weapon and said, here, have fun. You can get, besides the stratagems of course, the new stuff in a war bond. That's like a battle pass, but other than Fortnite and Co, where this thing is limited and disappears off the time, in Helldivers 2, these things stay forever. So you can decide if you buy the premium currency with real money or do the, yeah, let's say ethical way. So you just play the game and collect those super credits in missions. Next to the free one, they've released several passes yet. But since Arrowhead released only a little bit of content every time and this content more often, people unlocked and tried out everything pretty fast. But recently, Arrowhead decided to take their time and make less content updates. But if they release something, they make sure it is more than just a small new war bond. That leads us to another point why people are leaving Helldivers. Not because they hate this decision of the studio, or the game itself, because in my opinion this is a great decision. And that way we can, like, enjoy and value the new stuff a little bit more. It's not like other games where the new stuff is on limited time and if you play the game too late, you won't be able to unlock the new guns for example. Helldivers 2 is a lot different with its system, because it doesn't force you to play when you are not feeling it at the moment. That's probably one more reason why some people left for the moment. They've just unlocked everything and do a break to not let Helldivers be too annoying in any way. And since there is no obligation to come back at a specific time, I'm sure many people will return at a certain point. Just imagine a game that's fun. You play it all day long, every week and keep playing and keep playing. Sounds boring, doesn't it? I had the same experience with a video game once. I played it every day for about half a year and one day I woke up and didn't want to play this game again. I was so bored about it. I've never touched this game ever again and I'm not even able to watch videos about it so it's just dead for me. And I think that's the fate of most hype games. But I don't think that'll be the case with Helldivers 2. People just get a rest, recover until the new big update drops, because a third faction is already confirmed, that should be the Illuminates from the first game, and we need every diver we can get once this guy arrives in our galaxy. Another reason why the numbers are going down was simply this whole PSN topic, where PC players needed a PSN account in order to play this game. After a real life major order Sony changed their decision because of massive negative feedback. But Helldivers 2 is still only available in countries with PSN access. Non-PSN countries which are over 170, if I'm not mistaken, still can't play the game. And if over 170 out of 195 countries in total aren't able to join the fight, of course the numbers are falling. After this Sony catastrophe, many people snapped out. But I think also many people want to dive again, so unlock these countries again please. Also a point because we shouldn't worry about the 90% loss is that these are only the numbers from Steam, so PC players. On consoles, so PS5, it isn't that easy to get exact numbers, the only thing we could do is to look at the galactic map and count everything together, since there is a player count for each sector. But because of crossplay that can be a little bit difficult to count Steam and PlayStation players, like, together. Helldivers 2 is an online only game, which means it depends on the number of people playing it. If most of them quit, it is very difficult for the devs to make it work because this whole galaxy conquest, all the major orders and protection of Super Earth and its ideals, we need enough players. If not, this whole system wouldn't work properly. But I think Helldivers 2 is a one in a million game, which not only wants to make as many things as possible perfect, but also makes a lot of things right. A good progression system, no greedy advertisement in every corner, no fucked up premium currency, there is so much good stuff I wish that would be in every other game too. But since you barely see games like that, and I don't mean horde shooters, I mean this fairness and passion behind everything they do, this ethical way how a video game should be. Many people appreciate that and that's why I think the 90% didn't quit forever, they just wait until they get some new stuff to explore. It may be true that Helldivers 2 lost the majority of their people, but on one hand there are still the 40,000 PC players, plus the uncounted PS5 guys. 
This game is definitely not dead. Maybe the hype got a little bit smaller since this game is out for 5 months now and it's basically the same since release. But I am pretty sure when the time has come and Arrowhead adds a new faction, this game will absolutely explode again. But what do you think about Helldivers 2? Do you still play it or do you wait until the next big content drop? Let me know in the comments. Also thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you wanna see more and for that being said, thanks for watching, I'm out. Goodbye.